Hi everybody, welcome back. Well today I'm sharing some updated Amazon travel favorites with you guys and I will list a couple videos below in the description box of past um, Amazon travel that I have done. So be sure to check those out there because if I don't mention something here, it's not that maybe I don't use it anymore. There's probably a lot of other things um, that could go on the list. But these are just kind of some updated ones and some things we've been using recently that I thought I should share um, that maybe I haven't. Maybe a few of them I have. Anyway, let's get started. This is one of the newer ones we picked up earlier this year. And I had posted a picture on Instagram with my luggage and it had this on it and it had a cup. What's great is it's a cup holder, but you could also put your phone in it as well. It just fits on to your luggage, basically it Velcros. So it kind of fits like that. And you can put your cup in it, like I said, your phone, anything. Um, like that. I like it more for road trips. I haven't taken it on um, an airplane trip, but so many of you said, oh my God, that would be great in the airport. Maybe because I'm not typically holding a drink in the airport, so I don't think of that, but I know a lot of you go to Starbucks before <laughs> you get on a flight, so if you want to take it in the airport, that'd be great too. I just find what I wanted it for is, especially I feel like the day you're arriving at a hotel and the day you're leaving, I feel like you always have a lot of things in your hands, especially, you know, when you're checking out or whatever, you're trying to maybe only take one trip or two trips. And I always have, when I leave, my Yeti and a cup of coffee uh, when I leave the hotel. And I'm like, okay, I need more hands because now I'm also trying to wheel my suitcase down the hall. And so many hotels have that thick carpet, you know, that it's already hard to wheel your suitcase anyway. And so you just need more hands. Well, this came in handy. It was perfection. So I can't recommend this enough. All right, something else that I just thought of, especially with all these like delays with, you know, at the airport and with cancellations, people sitting out on the tarmac in an airplane, this would be something good to have. I've not brought this on an airplane trip yet, but I've had it in the car, especially um, thinking about amusement parks, golf tournaments, anywhere like that would be a travel fan. Um, it's funny because the last golf tournament we went to, they were actually handing some of these out and it wasn't too bad. This one's actually pretty powerful. And my What's great about this one, you don't have to worry about batteries because it just plugs in. You can recharge it. So that's the only thing you have to worry about. But I'm telling you, this thing is very powerful. It'd be great for kids, you know, if you needed to cool them off. But I just thought, you know what, sitting in an airplane, if it got stuffy for too long, this would be great. All right, I have to talk about my newest obsession. It has been a bestseller ever since I shared it several months ago. It comes in a two pack. That are these um, clear makeup bags or toiletry bags, whatever you wanna use them for. I use them for makeup. I'll try to put in a picture here of what it looks like when I have it full. I have a couple of things just in there randomly. Like I said, it's a two pack. You can't beat the price. I think they're under $15. It is so roomy and I love that it unzips all the way around so you actually can um, get good access and this will lay flat so wherever you know you are sitting this to get ready and I can see everything I don't know I just I love bags and makeup bags in general you guys if you watch me a long time you know I like some bags but this has definitely been one of my absolute favorites all of you that have message me saying that you love it as well after I shared it. That makes me so happy. Just again, out of all of this stuff, if you just find one thing you love, that's what I'm here for is just share what I love. Hopefully you guys are looking for something that you need too. So these are fantastic. Again, it comes two pack, it comes with a pink and this mint green or they have like all black and then I think like a navy and something. So this is also a newer find for me this year. Um, it's this really slim, uh, folding mirror and I use it for makeup when I travel what I like about it is you can set it obviously like this um, it's pretty bright sometimes I don't even need to turn it on I just need something closer setting you know it depends on you never know whose home you're staying in uh, if one of us in the bathroom and you need to get ready somewhere else or you know I don't know I just feel like it comes in handy having a travel makeup mirror and I like this one because it's rechargeable as well and I like this very flat and lightweight so another awesome get this year were these clear bags it comes in a set of I think there's like six here or something I will put in some pictures here of what we used it for my favorite thing to use these for are snacks uh, whether I'm on an airplane or in the car I can put them in there and I just see what we have you know like breakfast bars, snack bars, 
you know, nuts, whatever you like to take, mints you could put in there. Another thing I like to use these for is sunscreen. They work perfectly for regular size bottles of spray sunscreen or facial sunscreen. I have like a, a spray oil that I put in there. Love it for that. And then it's not getting messy all over your beach bag. And then you can just see easily, hey, this is the sunscreen bag and grab it, throw it in your beach bag. They do come in a couple different sizes. I will put down below what these are. Um, I always wanna say they're the medium, but they could be the small. I think they come in three sizes, but basically, they're about this size, and again, I'll put the measurement of this one or what size it is below. A travel steamer is something I have been using for several years. I find myself taking it on every trip. Most places that you stay will have an iron, but I just feel like some of the things I'm bringing, especially depending on what time of year it is, the fabric maybe is a little bit lightweight, and it just calls for steaming instead of ironing. I don't want that heavy crease in it, and it's just easier a lot of times to get this out. Um, my exact one isn't available anymore because I've had this for years, but I'll link the one very similar to it. And they don't take up any room at all. I mean, you could even take the top off, which is what I do a lot of times. A lot of times they even come in their own bag for carrying. And you could take the top off, put it in a little bag, and then it's literally just this big taking up room. So uh, not very much space at all, but it is so worth it. And I pretty much use it on every single trip. Another go-to for me, um, I used to use those Vera Bradley, uh, you know, hot tools case, you've seen me, which I still like those. I'm telling you ever since I've purchased this one, I think it was last year maybe, I've loved this one. I even use it at home sometimes. So this has my flat iron in it right now. I just stick it down in there and then wrap the cord around it. What I love about this in particular is that it's silicone and I can lay my hot tool on it on the counter. So lay it flat. I'm not gonna damage the countertop wherever I'm at or in my home. Um, that's just what to me makes this one superb. Comes in other colors too, but of course I got gray. So this is a newer find this year and we've only used it a few times, but so far it's one of those again, it just comes in handy, especially maybe at an airport or again when I said you're leaving a hotel or coming or going and you need that tote bag to really stay on your bag. You don't want it leaning over and then dumping all out or something like that because if you have a bag that doesn't already have the sleeve that can go down over your rolling suitcase, this is what you need. Basically, it just attaches to your bag and then attaches to the suitcase. Of course, it is not an Amazon travel favorites without talking about packing cubes. I have used packing cubes for years and years and years now. This is my favorite set. I will link them below, but I have this one still sitting out. And why I love this one so much, even if I don't use anything else in it, I will grab this size and this is what my underwear and bras go in. It's like the perfect size for that. Or you could put swimsuits in here. I find swimsuits, depending on how many you're taking, a little bit too bulky for this, but I find this is perfect for underwear and bra. Again, the whole set that I really love is this one. My husband, he uses a few different ones, but he really likes, there's a two pack of this compression one from Eagle Creek. He's used these for a few years, but I don't know if I've ever talked about these. Um, he likes putting his underwear and socks in this one. That's his favorite. And then this one is from an old Eagle Creek set, um, and he puts his flip-flops in here. And the reason why is that oftentimes they have sand or something. He has some sparies, and I swear the bottom of them are terrible about holding on to sand, no matter how much you rinse them off or anything. So I find that if I put this in here, even though it does have a mesh top, it kind of contains all of that from getting on anything else in the suitcase. Um, and men's shoes, you know, are so large, they take up a lot of room in a suitcase. So you could also use these for like, I don't know, some loafer, something like that. Maybe something not too bulky, but for the flip-flops, these are must-have. All right, if you wanna be totally extra while you're traveling, I find I'm this way when I'm on a car trip, but on a, you know, airplane trip, I will probably take this too, depending on how long I'm staying. If I'm not staying very long, I'm not gonna worry about it too much, but that is a silk pillowcase. I use these at home, and what I suggest so you don't leave this behind, get a different color, don't get white. I use white at home, but when I travel, I don't want white because the other pillows are white and I might forget it, it might just blend in. So get like a blue or like this, this is like a, a tan color. Um, and that way you can see it, 
you'll take remember to take it with you but this helps so much in my hair so if you're one of those that like to preserve your hairstyle or maybe you already have dry hair this helps it not be as frizzy um, helps maintain the style a little bit of course obviously it helps for not getting so many creases on your face depending on how you sleep but this is just a must-have for me all the time and again it's started to be kind of a necessity when i travel so this is the travel jewelry case that I have been using for quite some time. Years back, I used one from Vera Bradley that you can no longer get when I was carrying some bigger, more costume pieces with me. I find now most of the pieces, they're not that big, even, you know, earrings and things like that. Um, you know, necklaces I'm usually wearing, just kind of like link necklaces. So I can fit all I need in this size. I like this one. Um, one, because I find things don't get as tangled. It zips all the way around. It's pretty big. And so you have this snap section over here where you can put all your necklaces. Um, you have this section here, like I'll usually put earrings and things like that in here. You have a place for rings. And then you also have this big zipper pocket back here where you could put bracelets or something bigger, chunkier if you need to. There is this little cardboard thing that you could put studs, but I don't do that. I usually just put all my earrings in here. So really like this one because as you can see, it's nice and flat and then things just stay organized. I really feel like I don't even bring that much jewelry with me anymore. Also something you could do is use the little pouches that jewelry come in sometimes from like Kendra Scott or J. Crew. I will put individual little necklaces or something in that and then put them inside a purse that I'm taking. That works just as well. Again, depends on how many days I'm going to be gone, but sometimes it's just easier for me to look at everything and know it's all in one place in this one. All right, I just did a video on this bag. I switch out between my bags often. But this is something I bought a couple of years ago, probably about three years ago, but I don't think I've ever really talked about it a whole lot. It's maybe been on my Amazon travel faves on my blog. That's another post that I'll link below because it has a lot of different items plus some of the same ones. Um, but I've really been enjoying this one lately. So it looks like this, it has a little handle. There's a pocket in the back. I'll link the video where I just spoke about what's in it just so if you're nosy and wanna know what I take. But I like it because it can sit on a counter like this. It also has a hook, so if you wanna hang it. I'm not typically a must hang my toiletry bag kind of person. I find sometimes that's annoying to me because depending on how big the toiletry bag is and if the towel rack or something's low, I don't know, I, it's just too low for me. I'd rather have something on the counter. So anyway, this is just a great bag. I mean, definitely if you're a minimalist, this could fit your makeup and your toiletries if you want. Um, this is something I take like five days or less in. If I'm going seven nights or more, I will take a bigger one just because there's some things that I just like to have with me just in case, kind of. I'm kind of that person. But anyway, I really love this one and it folds up nice, doesn't take up a lot of space. So this one's definitely one I recommend. If you guys have some Amazon travel faves I need to know about, please list them in the comments below. Everything will be linked in the description box below, all videos, blog posts, anything I mention. Thank you guys so much for watching. I really appreciate it, and I'll see you in the next video. Bye.